Would you like to increase the amount of cash you receive every month by selling cash to put options? Would you like to receive that cash faster than you are right now? In this video, I'm going to share with you a simple technique we use every month to increase the amount of cash we receive when we sell cash secure put options. First, let me show you the setup of a trade we did this past month that doubled the amount of cash we received by selling cash secure put options. Here you see a trade that we did in Google. It was a simple bullish put credit spread. We sold the Google June 16th, one or two and a half dollar cash secure put option and bought for protection the same expiration day $75 put option. For that, we pocketed $1.89 per share. Now we ended up doing multiple trades in Google. As you see here, we did this first trade on May 1st. Fast forward to the next day, May 2nd, and you see we add to that position by selling the $100 put option and bought the 70 put option for protection. We pocketed another $2.00 and three cents per share for this bullish put credit spread. And then a few days later, as you see here on May 5th, we added one more bullish put credit spread to our Google position. We sold again the June 16th $100 put option and bought the 70 put option for protection and pocketed another $1.86 per share. So at this point, here is what our position looked like. We had sold the Google June 16th $100 and $102.5 cash secure put options and I bought the $70 put options for protection. In all, we had pocketed on average about $1.94 per share and we had done 300 shares worth, so we pocketed $582 for these bullish put credit spreads in Google. Now the return was actually looking pretty good. We had about 43 days until expiration and we had a total of $9,000 at risk for these three bullish put credit spreads contracts. So if we stay in this position through expiration, which is 43 days away, then we'd realize a 54.9% annualized return on capital we had at risk. Here you see the daily chart of Google. Now we did these trades when Google was trading right about in this area here, right around $105 per share. It was finding nice support at the red 200 moving average, as well as the green 50 moving average. So by the fifth, which was this candlestick right here, we had a full cash secure put position in Google. Well, Google did exactly what we thought it was going to do. It took off. Google moved up so fast that the value of the cash secure put options we'd sold lost 90% of their value within just two weeks. So here you see that on May 18th, we bought to close the two Google June 16th $100 put options for 15 cents per share. And then the next day on the 19th, we bought to close the $102.5 cash secure put options for 16 cents per share. By buying those put options back early, it freed up our capital to enter a new position. So here you see that on March 19th, the day we finished closing out our Google position, we sold to open the GILD June 16th. Notice the same expiration day as our Google put options. We sold the 77 and a half dollar cash secure put options. We paid a dollar 27 cents per share. Now that day we actually sold two of those cash secure put option contracts. As you see here, a few days later on May 22nd, we sold another GILD, June 16th, 77 and a half dollar cash share put option, pocketed another dollar and 45 cents per share. And then just today, less than an hour ago, we added one more GILD, June 16th, 77 and a half dollar cash share put option to this position and pocketed another dollar and 55 cents per share. So here is what our current GILD position looks like. We've sold the June 16th, 77 and a half dollar cash share put option. We've sold four of them. The average price we received was a dollar and 38 cents per share. Now I don't know how this position is going to turn out because it's literally a live position that we just finished adding to. So let's look at what we were able to accomplish by closing Google out early and putting them on a back to work in GILD. Here you see that we pocketed $582 up front for selling those Google put options. Now when we close them out a few weeks later, we pay between 15 and 16 cents per share for those put options. So in all, we pocketed $534 net for those Google put options. Then we sold the GILD June 16th cash care put options we pocketed another $552. When you add those two amounts together, the $534 from Google and the $552 from GILD, we pocketed $1,068. And that was compared to the $582 that we would have pocketed if we had stayed in that Google position through expiration. Remember, we closed it out 30 days early. So by closing it out early, we're actually able to double up the amount of options we sold for that same 45-day expiration period, double the amount of cash we put into our pocket, and potentially double our return. So what's the lesson here? When you've sold a cash you could put option and it's lost almost all of its value, in this case we see it lost over 90% of its value, go ahead and close that cash care put option out early and put that capital back to work in a new position. As you see in this scenario, we're able to double the amount of income we collected this month with that simple strategy. One of the common problems I find for option traders is just finding new opportunities. It's great when a position does what you expect it to do and you can close it out early, but it can be difficult to find new trading opportunities. If you like 
like some help with that, check out the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. If you'd like to see more of my actual trades and the videos I share with my patrons at the end of each trading day when we enter a new position, check out the video series just below entitled Today's Option Trades for Patrons. That video series is not public, but it is available to you if you click that link. In that video series, you'll see all the information I share with my patrons whenever we enter a new trade. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.